A lot of bad people. A lot of bad people, a lot of fake media. Look at them. A lot of fake media. Fake, fake media. But, well, I'll tell you, we did a great job in the Olympics. President Moon of South Korea said without Donald Trump, the Olympics would have been a total failure. It's true. It's true. You know? Might as well say it. Nobody else is going to say it, right? Might as well say it. Now, a little hard to sell tickets when you think you're going to be nuked. But when North Korea called and they said, we'd like to be in the Olympics, everybody said, let's buy tickets. Let's go. I would have gone. And it became a very, very successful Olympics. Honestly, South Korea did a great job. And it was great to see North Korea going and participating. And there was a nice unity. It was really a nice thing. Really nice. But when the South Korean representatives who just left North Korea came outside, big throng of press, they announced that North Korea, Kim Jong-un, would like to meet with President Trump. This, is a, this doesn't happen. You know, they're saying, oh, well, Obama could have done that. Trust me, he couldn't have done that. He wouldn't have done that. He would not have done it. And by the way, neither would Bush and neither would Clinton. And they had their shot. And all they did was nothing. They, well, Clinton gave away billions and billions of dollars. And as soon as they made the deal, the following day, they started working on making more nukes. Okay? So that was it. That's not the great deal. You ever see the story? Where I'm, it's 1999. I'm on Meet the Press a show now headed by Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd. He's a sleeping son of a bitch, I'll tell you. And they showed it this morning, 1999, and I'm talking about North Korea. You got to take them out now. And then they have Clinton saying, we are pleased to announce that we have made a deal with North Korea. Well, you know how that deal turned out, right? We gave billions and billions of dollars and lots of other things. And we got nothing. But they show me, young, handsome. I said, why couldn't I look like that today? I should have run back then, right? Huh? I should have run back then. I would have done this earlier. But the press for two hours is going, this is fantastic. This is amazing. A certain anchor on CNN, fake as hell, CNN. The worst. Oh. So fake. Fake news. Ratings are lousy, by the way, and compared to Fox, their ratings. And a certain anchor, female, said, this is really something. He would go down as a truly great president if this happened. Okay, but all of them are saying, this is amazing, this is incredible. Did you hear what they just said? They just said, Denuke. They just said all of these things. They just said no more missiles. They said they want to meet with President Trump. It would, they couldn't believe it. The worst of them, CNN, MSNBC, which is, which is worse. Than, I, I think I have a new MSNBC, third rate. And NBC, which is horrible. Their newscast, by the way, is not doing well on NBC Network. They're heading down the tubes. But, but listen to this. I did The Apprentice on NBC for 14 seasons. I made a lot of money for them. We had a big, successful show. Arnold Schwarzenegger failed when he did The Apprentice, and he's a movie star. Martha Stewart failed when she did The Apprentice, and I just kept chugging along. Every year it was a big hit. I mean, I did The Apprentice, made them a lot of money, gave them good ratings when they were absolutely dying. 
And they do nothing but kill me. NBC is perhaps worse than CNN, I have to tell you. And MSNBC is horrible. So here they are. They're outside. These wonderful representatives, very high level from South Korea, are saying all of these things, denuke, and all of the things that they can't believe because it's like five years ahead of schedule. Before this, they were saying, well, that will never happen, and this will never happen, and you'll never get them to stop, you know, with the missiles. They're saying all of this. Now they say they want to stop the missiles, they want to denuclearize, they want to do all of these things, and all of these people are like, they can't believe it. It's unbelievable. I said to my wife, I said, you know, it's amazing. They're really nice tonight. It's really amazing. They're all saying this is an incredible achievement. This is okay. Then I get up in the morning. Some time goes by. Right? Same people. They're saying, not that big a deal. Anybody could have done it. Obama could have done it. Obama had a chance. No, no. They're saying, Obama. Obama. Obama was driving you down. You take a look at those numbers before we took over. They were heading down. So, so just let me say, so I wake up, so it's so nice, and I'm looking forward to watching in the morning. And I go, I mean, literally, they're saying, well, Clinton could have met. Clinton gave away the house. I got nothing. And Bush, 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 another great Republican. He got us into the Middle East. That was a great, we spent seven trillion dollars in the middle east over a 17 year period seven trillion dollars as of three months ago okay we, you know what they did that was like taking a big stone and throwing it into a hornet's nest but we're bringing it back isis we have 98 percent of the caliphate of the land back. 98 to the election in 2020, every one of those guys, we really endorse Donald Trump. We think he has to win. You know why? Because if I don't win the election, their ratings are going to go so far down, they're going to be out of business, every one of them. Can you imagine? Can you imagine covering Bernie or Pocahontas? Pocahontas. How about that? Can you imagine these guys? Some of them are actually smiling, but some of them just can't stand it, honestly. Some of them, they can't take it. Can you imagine having to cover Elizabeth Warren before you? You know, I was watching during the campaign, and Hillary was sitting right there, and Pocahontas was up, and she was so angry. Look, we love each other, the women, the men. We love each other. Everybody loves. She was so angry. I said, you know, I think she's losing the entire male audience and many of the women. She was going at it, and Hillary's sitting there saying, oh, my God, what did I do here? This is. But can you imagine if they had to cover some of these people that are running? I think any of them, to be honest with you. I think any of them. Oh, I'd love Oprah to win. I'd love to beat Oprah. I know her weakness. No, no, I know her weakness. I, I know her. You know, I know her very well. I was on her last show, or one of the last, I guess, the last week. She had Donald Trump and Donald Trump's family. My, 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 we've come down a long way, haven't we? I'm now president, and probably, you know. But, but think of it. I know her weakness. Wouldn't we love to run against Oprah? I would love it. I would love it. That would be a painful experience for her. So we've created three million, thank you, darling, wages. I mean, how good is that? Wages starting to go up. African-American unemployment has reached the lowest level in history. The lowest. You know, African-American, and I'm very proud of that, African-American unemployment two months ago reached the lowest level in history. And then last month, it went up a little bit, right? And I made the mistake, because I didn't know it went up. And it wasn't quite as good, but it wasn't historic. So I was in a different month, and I said, African unemployment is the lowest level in history. They killed me. 
because it was the previous month. But here's the good news. The new month brought it down to the lowest level. So now it's the lowest level. Hispanic unemployment is the lowest level. Think of that. Hispanic unemployment is the lowest level in history. Women, women, we love you. We love you. Hey, didn't we surprise them with women during the election? Remember? Women won't like Donald Trump. I said, have I really had that kind of a problem? I don't think so. But women won't like Donald Trump. It will be a rough night for Donald Trump because the women won't come out. We got 52%, right? 52, right? And I'm running against a woman. You know, it's not that easy. 155 million people are now employed. That is, came out this morning, that is the highest level of employment in the history of our country. 155 million. Think of that. Right? While the Obama administration in its final year was losing 1,000 manufacturing jobs a month, we've created almost 300,000 new manufacturing jobs. Think of that. Think of that. You know what the new slogan will be? Because I can't use it in three years from now. I can't say, very good. I can't use it. I can't go like in four years and say, here's my slogan, which is now two and a half years we'll have to start thinking, right? It's getting close. We can't say make America great again because I already did that, right? Right? So, right? So our, not my slogan, our slogan, this is a team, our new slogan will be, and you know, this is on the assumption it happens, which I'm almost positive. You can never be 100% sure. I never like to go too far in advance, but we're so proud of this country. But our new slogan, when we start running in, can you believe it, two years from now, is going to be, keep America great, exclamation point, keep America great. And that is why we have to defeat Nancy Pelosi. And Maxine Waters, a very low IQ individual. You ever see her? Do you ever see her? Do you ever see her? We will impeach him. We will impeach the press. But he hasn't done anything wrong. It doesn't matter. We will impeach him. She's a low IQ individual. You can't help her. She really is. We will impeach him. But you have Maxine Waters and you have plenty of others. And, I mean, Nancy Pelosi, you can't have that. And Connor Lamb, Lamb the Sham, right? Lamb the Sham. He's trying to act like a Republican, so he gets, he won't give me one vote. Look, I don't know him. Looks like a nice guy. I hear he's nice looking. I think I'm better looking than him. I do. I do. I do. And he's slightly younger than me. Slightly. No, I heard that, then I saw it. He's okay. He's all right. Personally, I like Rick Saccone. I think he's handsome. 